Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kakodash, which in the Hebrew language means all praises to the Most High, his true name is Yahweh, in the name of his Son, whom the world ignorantly and stubbly calls Jesus, his true name is Yahweh Shai, and Rakakodash, loosely translated, means Holy Spirit. Raka means spirit, Kodash means holy. All right, double honors to the apostles and elders, that great millstone, who rule well through the scriptures, peace to the hopeful elect. All right, this is going to be a part of the series here at Great Millstone entitled, uh, This is Why We Call You the Devil. All right, the so called white people, the race which the Bible determines as Edomites. All right, they are the devil. And the word devil means deceiver. And we're going to go into uh, a, um, an element of their, their, um, their health system to prove that. All right, so uh, I'm going to get start off with this here. Let me get this here. Um, the lymphatic system, okay. All right, so, all right. This is this is the uh, this is the lymphatic system. All right, it says the network of vessels through which lymph drains from the tissues into the blood. All right, it says, and let's click on some of these things. All right, it says the lymphatic system has multiple interrelated functions. It is responsible for the removal of interstitial fluid from tissues. It absorbs and transports fatty acids and fats as ch child, I don't have you pronounce that, from the digestive system. It transports white blood cells to and from the lymph nodes into the bones. All right, now white blood, blood cells, they're, um, they're the cells that fight off uh, infection. So they're your, um, you know, basically your, your line of defense when it comes to um, fighting off sickness all right so the lymphatic system you know is part of dispersing dispersing those white blood cells to keep you healthy all right let's look at the organs the lymphoid organs assist the lymphatic system they include the thymus the spleen the tonsils and appendix along with some special tissue in the gut the thymus the thymus is located in the thoracic cavity just under the neck it's made up of two lobes of lymphoid tissue now uh over the years, we've been led to believe that the spleen and the tonsils and the appendix are not necessarily needed. All right. Many people of age, you know, uh, th late 30s, 40s, 50s and above under the impression and was taught from medical professionals that you don't need your tonsils. You got a lot of people walking around. Oh, I got my tonsils removed. All right. Or oh, I got my appendix removed. I got my spleen removed. All right. But the thing is, they do they do portray a purpose, and, and we just looked up the purpose that they have. Now, whether or not that purpose was always known, that, that don't matter. Just because you don't know what something means, that don't mean it has a meaning. That don't mean it doesn't have a meaning. All right? So let's get a... Matter of fact, let me get the scripture. All right? Because we was, first of all, we was created... All right, the Most High in the name of His Son, Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, created all things. And the Lord, uh, as the old saying go, God don't create no junk. All right, so it, uh, First Samuel two and three. All right, it says, "Talk no more, so exceeding proudly." All right, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. And the so-called white man, the devil, is very proud. Oh, this don't, oh, this don't have a purse. It's all remove it. You know, they 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 liken themselves to be God. All right. It says for the Lord, it says for Yahweh is a God of knowledge and by him actions are weighed. Let's look up knowledge. All right. The I knowledge in the Hebrew knowledge, opinion, God's knowledge, judgment, opinion. So we was we was properly made. All right. We was properly made to have all those things. All right those these different organs and they they have a function they have a purpose all right this is uh let's jump to the apocrypha all right Sirach chapter 18 all right it says mm, really all of this is good i'll start from the top it says he that liveth forever have created all things in general the Lord only is righteous. There is none other but he who governed the world with the palm of his hand 
and all things obey his will. So everything, all right, Satan, demons, everything go everything obey the will of the Lord. For he is the king of all, by his, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. To whom hath he given power to declare his works? And who shall find out his noble acts? See, every see, you don't know everything. Alright? It says, Who shall who shall number the strength of his majesty? And who shall also tell out his mercy? As for the wondrous works of Yahweh, there may nothing be taken from them. See, that's why you notice anytime you take away from creation, anytime you take away from, from, from the balance of what the Lord created, something falters. Whether it be the ecosystem, whether it be uh, the balance of family life, whether it be uh, how to properly uh, uh, farming, because the scriptures teaches you how to properly uh, farm the land. Anytime you try to add or remix or rig something up, it don't work properly. All right. It says uh, like the ecosystem, you got different ecosystems uh, where it's a balance. You got this animal. This animal will eat this plant and this plant will protect itself from this particular animal and that animal will eat this animal. Well, you got different instances uh, where they they'll remove something. For example, they uh, it was too many mosquitoes or something to that effect over there in the East Coast a couple of years ago. Somewhere people was complaining about mosquitoes and then they imported like a whole bunch of dragonflies or something because dragonflies eat mosquitoes. But then somehow that uh somehow that um it messed it messed with the ecosystem because different different animals will uh will, will be overpopulated and and animals that was needed would be underpopulated. For example, I, I personally use the ladybug incidents all the time. When they imported the Japanese beetles, they look like ladybugs, but they're not. They they drove the ladybugs out. But the ladybugs were, and they, the so-called, who did it? The so-called white man, all right? He did it in the early 1900s, and he did it in the 70s. And now the ladybug is virtually, virtually extinct, where anybody, if you see a ladybug, you're encouraged to take a picture of it, all right? But anyway, back to the point, and I'm going to read the scripture again. Uh, the ladybug, they imported the Japanese beetle, which is orangish, yellowish in color, and it basically moved the ladybug out. And the ladybug is responsible for 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 it, it's, it's reported that one ladybug will eat 20,000 different animals that that uh that destroy vegetation. All right. Uh, uh, white spiders and mites, certain things that are destroy vegetation. So that's the balance that the Lord set up. All right. Verse six, it says, as for the wondrous works of the Lord, there may nothing be taken from them from them. Neither may anything be put unto them. So you once you start adding stuff, it, it won't work properly. Neither can the ground of them be found out. All right. So you ain't going to know every reason and every function for every single little thing. All right. Until the, until the Lord, until the kingdom of heaven, where the Lord reveals 100 percent of all that understanding to the to the Israelites, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. All right. The, the scripture says in Deuteronomy 29 and 29. The secret things belong to the Lord our power, but those things revealed belong to us and our children forever. All right. And the scripture also says uh, we see unto a spark. So if you light a match or you light a you, you strike a lighter. All right. The knowledge that we got the capability to know right now is a spark compared to all the knowledge that the Lord has, which is a flame, a torch. All right. It says, uh. Yeah, that's the point on that. Let me see if it's another one in 16. Uh, right, right, right. This is uh, Sirach chapter 16 and verse 26. It says, the works of the Lord are done in judgment from the beginning. And from the time he made them, he disposed the parts thereof. So the Lord already had the function of everything he made. Verse 27. He, he garnished his works forever, and in his hand are the chief of them unto all generations. They neither labor, nor are weary, nor cease from their works. None of them hindereth another, and they shall never disobey his word. All right? So ain't no, and, and then furthermore, to, to, to go on a tangent a little bit, everything the Lord created obeys him, whether that be angels, whether that be evil people, all right? 
the Christianity likes to put, throw that idea out there. Oh, there was a war in, in heaven and uh, uh, Satan convinced the third of the angels to fight. No. All right. Everything obey the will of the Lord. All right. So let's jump to uh, let's get some more of this lymphatic system. Uh, let me see. It say organs we can live without. This is this what the so-called white man puts out there. Organs we can live without. It got a. Uh, this it got a. Uh, the uterus, hey. Without a uterus, a woman can't 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 produce and nourish a child. All right. Now, it says uh, what a uh, the kidney. It says uh, appendix. That's part of the lymphatic system. You can go and you can go into this and read it. Uh, you know, you can go to Google, type in organs we can live without, or go to penlab.com or whatever. But they named some right now. Your body don't live at a hundred percent capacity without these organs. It's just that the Lord, the Lord created us these bodies as weak as they are. They still, they still durable. All right, they're still durable. All right, that don't mean you're going to live at the same uh, standard of life you have without the gallbladder. All right. The spleen. But see, the thing is, instead of restoring these, instead of restoring your body back to its health, so-called white man likes to cut on you and likes to remove things and likes to give you artificial things. And likes to and likes to reshape and recreate you all to keep you at a weaker state because uh, without having a spleen, without having the appendix, without having tonsils. And that's all a part of the lymphatic system. And that and, and uh, the lymphatic system uh, helps to transfer and disperse white bl white blood cells throughout throughout your body, throughout your bones and white blood cells fight off uh, infection, which is part of your immune system. All right. Damn, I got this on airplane mode. All right, Salakia, Salakia. Salakia, I got my phone on airplane mode. And I got all my notifications turned off, but that's just Satan. All right, but anyway, you got all these components of the lymphatic system, which helps fight off infection, but the so-called white man says you don't need. All right. Why to keep you at a weakened state? All right. So you won't be so you won't be as strong to your full potential. So you can be lethargic and tired and just 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 passive. All right. Because if you if you the scripture speaks about they who have a uh, better health is better than they that got riches. Some to speak It's better to be in good health than to be rich and in the in weak and in the poor health. Because if you're in good health, that puts you in, in, a, in a good mind, mind vibration and everything. All right. But then what? You had a bad, you had a, you had a bad overall state of being, you in bad health. What is that going to have you do? That's going to have you taking their medication. All right. Which, which will further, further weaken you. All right. So instead of cutting you and taking away these, these organs, why don't they try to heal you and try to, and try to put these organs uh, back to their back to their function, so they can better help you. All right. Let's uh get the scripture on that. This is uh. Sirach. It says thirty-eight and one. It says honor a physician with the honor due unto him for the uses which he may have of him. For the Lord hath created him. Now, physician, when you go into the word physician, the physician is one that makes you whole. All right. And this scripture goes in uh, where we'll read. It. it says for, for the most high coming healing and he shall receive honor of the king. The skill of the physician shall lift up his head in the sight of great men and in the sight of great men. He shall be in admiration. The Lord have created medicines out of the earth and he that is wise will not abhor them. So the medicines come from 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 the different vegetables. All right. The different the different fruits, the different roots, the different um um um, um herbs. All right. And a, a different combination of, of a few of them, you know, a, a, a tonic or, 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 or something like that, you know, exercise. All right. Watching your diet. 
Why ain't doctors telling you that? All right, because the Lord didn't create doctors. When you look up the word doctor, it means to falsify. All right, like when you like if you if you make something like MSG, MSG model sodium glutamate. All right, you put that on. That's a chemical that's added to foods to make it taste good. The food don't really taste good, but you think it tastes good because you've been tricked. Just like the so-called white man, his, his science behind um behind um his medicine. It don't really make you better. It actually make you worse. You've been tricked. All right, the, all these pills they got side effects, and these side effects these side effects don't be a headache, a uh, 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 slight nausea, slight flushing of the face. Every now and then it might be something like that, but these side effects be you might grow breasts. All right, respirol. All right, that was a a a a. a, a a pill they was giving to, to, to children with so-called ADHD and boys was going breast. Signs of you would take a pill for depression, and 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 uh, and the depression. One of the side effects would be depression. Here it is, you taking the pill to stop being depressed, but one of the side effects will increase your depression. All right. Now you got people. You, now you're getting ready to be be killed. All right. A true physician, a true doctor was supposed to be true. Matter of fact, I'm going to read it. I'm going to jump down. Verse uh, 6. And he hath given men skill that he might be honored in his marvelous works. So certain men got skill to deal with these herbs. With such do we heal men and take away their pains. Of such do it the apothecary make a confection. And of his works there was no end. And from him is peace over all the earth. Yeah, the apothecary. Or, or someone that that mixes uh, herbs make make a potion, but in righteousness though, all right, he make a confection. What? Add a, add a little bit of garlic. Add a little bit of uh 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 uh. uh well, let me let me let me think of one. Might add some garlic with some with some cayenne. All right, and cayenne helps with blood circulation. It got something called capsaicin. That's very good for you. Garlic is good for the heart. You might be going against uh you you might have a certain ailment and a different confection a combination will make you better not going to the doctor and get cut on all right my son in thy sixes be not negligent but pray unto the lord and he will make thee whole so ultimately the healing comes from the lord all right so these uh so a true physician all right supposed to be a man of the lord dealing with the herbs all right i'm gonna jump down as a matter of fact, I'm going to read. It says, leave off from sin and order thine hands aright and cleanse thy heart from all wickedness. Give a sweet savor and a memorial fine flower and make a fat offering as not being. Then give place to the physician. So go to the Lord. All right. You pray to him. You ask, you ask for him to heal you. Okay. You, you may fast. You may cut some off. You All right. Then you go to the, to the physician for the Lord hath created him. Let him not go from thee for thou hast needed him. There is a time when in their hands there is good success. So he gonna make the you do what you do, then you go to the to the physician. He do what he do. He make the confection. All right. Then it says, for they also shall pray unto the Lord, and then he gonna pray unto the Lord too, that he, that he would prosper that which they give for ease and remedy to prolong long to prolong life. All right. He that sinned before his maker, let him fall into the hand of the physician. See. But this is why this is why we call you the devil. This is just another token or another sign that you're the devil. All right, uh, John ten and ten. <clears throat> Hold on, Saint John ten and ten. It says, "The thief." Come if not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. So the so-called white man, the thief, he stole everything. He stole the heritage of the Israelites. He stole the land of the Israelites, the identity. He stole the whole world from everybody. He 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 rules through through puppet puppet governments, the other nations. All right, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Let me look up thief in the Greek. All right, kleptes in the an embezzler, a pilfer, pilferer, the name is translated to false teachers who do not care to instruct men, but abuse their confidence for their own gain. 
and the and the and the whole uh, uh, medical field is a racket. Rockefeller started that uh, uh, back back in the uh, early 1900s, because the so-called the, the the medical schools were geared towards the healing medicines of the earth. But he started giving them grants and started giving them money and, and, and funds to move away from that, to move away from that and just study on um on giving you chemicals. All right. You know, you can research that and find, you know, find that out. All right. So uh, let me jump to uh, let me see. OK. All right. This is Job 21 and 29. Have you not asked them that go by the way and do you not know their tokens? All right, that the wicked is reserved to the day of, day of destruction, they shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. All right, do you not know their tokens, their sign, their signal, their dis, a distinguishing mark? So the so-called white man, he have tokens. All right, we don't call him the devil for no reason. You, you look at his history, look at his track record. All right, uh, a famous famous quote from Maya Angelou. She said, "If someone show you who they are, believe them." So-called white man been telling us that he uh, 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 he the good guy, but he been showing us he the bad guy. All right, so who you gonna believe? He got a, he got a whole list of tokens, a whole list of signs following him, and it ain't like it's, it's only in the past, in the back of the day. He's still doing it now. Those people, the uh, diabetics, it's been um almost a hundred percent ink, if I'm if I'm not mistaken. But in, insulin has almost, the prices of insulin has almost doubled since 2012, all right? When you shouldn't be taking insulin, th these medical doctors shouldn't be prescribing insulin. They should be, they should be prescribing healthier diets, all right, healthier lifestyle changes, and, and, and medicines of the earth, like we read from the scriptures, all right? I'm going to read, uh, I'm going to end it on this scripture. <laughs> Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse seven. It says, "For the mystery of iniquity do doeth already work." Yeah, the so-called white man. All right, iniquity, the condition of without law. All right, everything that the law is the Bible. All right, any way, shape, or form he can go against the Bible, he does. All right, because of because ignorant of it. Because of violating it, yeah, he violates it. Contempt and violation of law, iniquity, wickedness. Okay, only he who now letteth will let. So the Lord is allowing him to do this. Why? Why? Until he be taken out of the way. All right. So with that, Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. Once again, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakadosh. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well through the Scriptures. Honorable mention to the brothers out there prophesying in truth and sincerity and in diligence and hopes of being saved. Shalom.